Hi folks, Howard at Raglan Piano Company. We're going to talk about a fairly common cause of sticking keys on a piano and how to correct that. Um, this part right here is called the key slip and sometimes with age this piece of wood will actually bow in just a little bit and cause the front of the key to drag on the back of the key slip. And, and I'm going to, this one's not doing it, so I'm going to simulate that. I'm going to push this in like it's bowed in. And when you play a key, it sticks. Sometimes it'll come right back up, or you'll play a key next to it and it'll pop up because now that key has pushed it out and freed that up. One way to check that is to just very gently pry right here. And if the key pops back up when you pull that away, that's going to be your problem. So what we do is we'll remove this key slip and then put a shim in behind it to push that back out. Some pianos will have screws mounted to the front of the key frame. Most pianos don't. So I have, I have a grand piano, depending on the manufacturer and time frame. There may be screws underneath here, and this comes up. Most imported pianos, you will need to unscrew the cheek block underneath and pull it up because the cheek block has a wedge system that holds down the key slip. I've already undone those screws. In most cases, they're, they're very simple to get out. And then the key, there's your key slip. Now this particular one happens to have a metal piece reinforcing it. Uh, not all of them do. Obviously the ones that don't have this metal strip are more prone to want to warp. But basically, you know, there's not a whole lot you have to do. If you want to get real fancy with it, uh, we can actually shim uh, under this under the this edge right here the edge closest to the uh, To the keys I'll just a lot of times this is what I've got on me We'll put a shim either lay it right here and put that back together again the, the kind of the problem you run into with shimming on the front of the action here is if that's too tight it may bind the action up and not let it slide back if anyone is using the soft pedal or the uh, unicorda, as the case may be there. But in most cases, you'll be able to set a shim in there like that, put the key slip back in, and that will actually uh, push that out a little bit right there. Uh, on a vertical piano, that's something you don't have to worry about. You can put shims in here because the vertical keys do not move uh, when the left pedal is depressed. So that's kind of the quick version of it. If you happen to have one of the vertical pianos that has screws sticking out right here, you can you know, turn those counterclockwise, bring them out a little bit, and that will push on this side of the key slip and bring it out some. I've also been known to add screws. I wouldn't do it on a grand, but on a vertical piano, I've been known to add little flathead screws on the front of the uh, key frame so that I can uh, more easily adjust that gap between the key slip and the keys. Well, that's it for this video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and have a great day. Well, that's it for this video. I hope it helps. Feel free to uh, give me a like if you like this video, and if you don't, go to... No. <laughs> Not what I meant.